goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now, I don't be understanding the thought process of the people of today. Michael Irvin, legendary football player, Hall of Famer, Michael Irvin, legendary. But his son wants to be a gangbanger. Now, I don't know if y'all seen this recent debacle. Um, some may call it a viral moment. But Michael Irvin, who was a legendary Hall of Famer, played for the Cowboys. His son, by the name of Tut Tarantino, is over here just embarrassing the shit out of him. Like, you ever had one of those kids who just, your parents, they be like, oh, no, don't do that, Billy. Don't act like this. And they just go slap the shit out their mama in Walmart. Yeah, real embarrassing. All right, so Tut Tarantino, he is a gated community street ninja. All right? One of those people who grew up in a great neighborhood, parents are rich, but wants to be a gangster and tells himself that because nobody understands me and thinks because I'm rich, I'm not about that life, I'm going to prove it to y'all. All right? Now, Michael Irvin is a legendary football player. If you don't know who he is, just do your research. But this is his son talking about how he held back the streets to protect his dad. I got the utmost respect for my father, bro. Yeah. Like, so it's like a lot of shit that I might have wanted to do, bro, I might have held back. Cause like, yeah, you ain't trying to I don't know if it's going to fuck up a NFL network deal. I don't know if it's going to fuck up a, you know what I'm saying? This nigga still working. He not retired. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna be like, promoting i'm still gonna be doing what i'm doing right. but i never promoted that my dad was michael Levin because i genuinely did not want my father to get in trouble for the shit that i was doing there's been niggas around me that have known me for years before they figure out who i am that shit ain't never just like made me but i be forgetting sometimes niggas not walking around telling motherfuckers who their daddy is like people don't do that like I've never seen somebody want to be from the street so bad. Jesus Christ, if my dad was Michael Irvin, you probably never hear me curse. I'll be right up there on the NFL network, breaking down motherfucking sports analytics and calling every single wide receiver ass cheeks and they got butterfingers just to play the damn game right. And sitting right up there next to Stephen A. Smith, Stephen A. Smith, arguing my ass off with him to get about the streets. But you got people like Tut Tarantino, a.k.a. the damn near 20,000 square foot baby want to be in the streets now his daddy has spoken on this occasion multiple times because it got to be heartbreaking and know that you worked this hard to have your son talking about i protected my daddy from the streets his rap name is tut tarantino if you ever listen to some of his raps i'm like oh my god where does this come from son you grew up in a gated community your whole life, but he's rapping my life because we romanticize and fantasize about that old thug life, ghetto life, and all of that stuff. When 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 we when we used to work to get away from it, now we've gotten to a place somehow we're running back towards it in the music and everything in and around. I got a son. I mean, you know how embarrassing that is, and this is how it gets when. Sometimes you can't really see the innocence of a person's brain and the low IQ of a person's brain. He is still a child, but he's pretending to be a gangster. He's living vicariously through his father, but he wants us to believe that this is his story. And this is why the whole rap game is smoke and mirrors, because a lot of people are like this. I mean, he's even going back and forth with with Tia's son and sparking a whole beef online as if these kids are some type of demons. And they all grew up with some rich ass parents. It fucking happened. Man, why random niggas put my name in their mouth? Nigga, you better catch a football or do something, nigga, put on some shoulder pads and a helmet, nigga, cause this shit ain't safe, nigga. This shit ain't safe, nigga. Oh man, dude, what the what? What the fuck is wrong with these hey? Michael Irvin, get your fucking son. Don't speak on me, nigga. I'm a whole different ball game, brother. Whole different ball game. This ain't no fuck. Nigga. So I'm watching the video, I'm shaking my head, I'm like, yeah, he's saying some real shit, some of this shit I agree with. And he like, but I ain't T.I. son, I ain't, I'm like, hold up, nigga, you don't know me. I'm like, hold up, nigga. All right, so you say you do for yourself, I do for mine. Cool. The shit you got on your neck is small shit, all right? The shit I got on my neck, 
Way bigger than anything you see. And I do for myself, though. You see what I'm saying? I do for myself. Like, the motion that I got is, like, my motion. So like, bro, come on now. Like, this is not no, like, it's, it's, it's hard for people to understand. But, like, bro, I'm not playing no role, bro. It's not no gimmick, bro. I'm not T.I. Sam, bro. I feel like we on an episode of the Boondocks. Like, we watching two Rugrats trying to act like they're about that life. Now, this is all fun and games until you're doing 25. And then we're going to see how funny it is. And you realize my parents are rich as shit. There's no reason for me to be tough. But culture tells these kids that they got to do this type of shit. And it's so hilarious that they go farther and farther. I mean, now he's even trying to expose his own dad. And acting like my dad don't understand my struggle, though my dad kept me out the struggle. I mean, shit, I thought being in poverty would make people want to be in the streets. The psychological slowness you got to have to be raised in beautiful homes and say, you know what, I still want to go to the streets is the ultimate level of rebellion, which he actually did talk about later. So, you know, this kid is just psychologically damaged. He said, I'll be saying crazy shit in my rap. Yeah. He don't know what the fuck. Like, right. My son raps me. His name is Tut Tarantino. Wait, what? My son, right? He, he, uh, What's his name? He he raps under Tut Tarantino. His real name is Elijah Irvin. He raps about some of the hardest <laughs> stuff in the world. And I say to him, son, you grew up in a 20,000 square foot gated <laughs> community home. He, he said, I grew up in a 20,000 square foot and it's not that big i ain't gonna lie to you it ain't twenty thousand. yeah he got the 15? fuck out that shit <laughs> not even 15. okay you know what i'm saying it don't even matter but he, you know what i'm saying he was exactly he, uh, where does this stuff come from i mean look at it i've been so busy that i have not had a chance to share my christmas gift this is what i got for my youngest boy got him an audi truck with the ribbon on it I mean, so let's just be real. The amount of delusion you got to have to really grow up this way and want to be from the screech so bad, it almost makes me laugh at you. Because it's like, yo, bro, when you guys go to jail for trying to be from the streets and the only people you're going to be able to call is your daddy, and you're going to be looking goofy because you realize the streets love nobody. And he even admitted, we all rebel against our parents. But truth be told, not like this. So everybody that criticized me, be honest with y'all selves, but y'all rebelled against y'all's parents in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how it was, y'all rebelled against him in some type of way. Y'all think because my father won Super Bowl this shit, I'm supposed to be a perfect little nigga. Like, bro, come on. Bro. Yes, you are. Especially when they laid out the blueprint. I could understand if you were still living in the ghetto, if you were still in the trenches, when they were shooting up the crib and you had to get back because somebody done did something to your cousin and you had to grow up in the gang life. But you grew up in a big home getting Audi trucks with ribbons on them. I mean, what's in the streets for you? What, you want a brick of cocaine? I, I, I just don't get it. It really blows my mind. This kid is a lame and deserves all the laughter that is coming his way because as I just covered in my last video, there was a young boy named Dougie B, who was a Bronx drill rapper who just robbed someone for $1,500 because that's how broke he was. His daddy is not a Hall of Famer. His daddy is not still working for the NFL. And his daddy damn sure ain't giving him uh, Audi trucks with the red ribbons on it. And you know what? He just got 25 years in jail for a robbery, for being in the streets. And your daddy is a Hall of Famer. And you know what you're doing? Sitting here pretending to be from the streets. To me, that is just utterly ridiculous. What comes out of this is what's going to come out of it. And then you're going to sit back and realize, damn, my life was good. My dad was rich. There should be no reason that I should be in the streets. But you let me know your thoughts about that. I'm gone.